Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a special review for you and one that I'm really excited about because the original version of this cleat right here is one that I really like. Technically the Tekela V4 cleat has been out for a while now and we got some cool insights into what that cleat was all about when the New Balance team invited us to their Boston HQ when it launched last year. And if you want to know more about the original Tekela V4, you can check out our Boston wear test right here. One of the most slept on cleat drops of last year, the original V4 had a great compression fit, exceptionally soft upper, and a sleek, fast looking profile. And the reason I'm so excited about this release is because the new Tecala V4 Low retains all those same great properties, but with a lower ankle collar and more traditional lacing system. Before we jump into the review, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you never miss a new cleat drop. Let's start with talking about why New Balance has decided to release this new version. The opinion splitting trend of brands releasing laceless cleats has been great for those who appreciate a more seamless striking surface and the look of a higher cut knitted ankle collar. But for those that prefer a freer ankle section and the customizable cinching ability that only a more traditional lacing system can really provide, this is the perfect option. The Tekela franchise has been drifting towards the speed cleat category for a while now, and this new version is definitely the most minimal so far. Weirdly, this low cut version actually weighs ever so slightly more than the lace version, but only just, and at only seven ounces or 205 grams, it makes this as light or lighter than most speed cleats on the market. The upper on this cleat is, like many others these days, made from a weather-coated synthetic knit material. But the special thing about this upper is just how soft and malleable it is. For me, it's right up there with the very best synthetic uppers on offer right now in terms of feeling broken in straight out of the box and offering a really responsive soft touch on the ball. If you're a fan of the Nike Phantom GX or Puma Future, you're gonna love these. Diving further into the details on touch, New Balance have added some 3D texturing on the medial and lateral sides of the shoe to enhance the grip in those higher ball contact zones. To be honest, it's not super noticeable when you wear them, but it is nice to have an additional touch element on what is essentially a speed cleat. The general shape of this cleat is, like the high cut version, relatively narrow. But given the overall stretch in the upper and this compression fit knitted tongue section, even if you have a wide foot like mine, you're gonna feel comfortable and locked in from wear one. If you do have an extra wide foot, New Balance are also one of the only soccer cleat brands that carry a wide fit version in their range of cleats. So whichever foot shape you have, there's an option for you. Interestingly, New Balance have chosen to offset the laces on this cleat on the medial side of the foot, which in my opinion is a good move because the laces cinch over the top of your large metatarsal and allow for a more locked in secure fit while reducing pressure across the rest of your foot and also leaving a large smooth surface on the lateral forefoot where you're more likely to contact the ball. Another element that gets a five star rating from me is one of the most unique stud configurations that you'll find on any current cleat. While the main stud pattern and shape is made up of pretty standard rounded studs, around the edges of the outsole, you'll find shallower bladed studs that are designed to give you that additional bite into the playing surface when you're taking off or making quick directional changes. I like it because they're small and subtle enough to not feel like they're gonna catch in the surface or get in the way when you're controlling the ball, while at the same time aiding push off on those more exaggerated angles. At $215, it's a less expensive option than what some other top level brands are offering. And considering the build quality and innovation over what is now four iterations of the Tecala, for me, it's a great deal for a seriously elite level soccer cleat. So those are the new Tecala V4 Lows from New Balance. For me, an even more comfortable performance fitting shoe than the original high cut Tecala V4, and one that blurs the lines even further between a lightweight speed cleat and a control cleat that offers one of the best touches on the ball in the game. Are these something that are gonna make it into your match day bag? As always, let me know what you think of the cleats with a comment in the section below. Like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the review. And if you wanna buy a pair of these cleats, you can shop them now at soccer.com. I'm Sam and I'll see you guys next time.